Yes. You can help me. Only if you're willing to fish right. That's the way to beat Bert. All right, I'll do it. Great. Come back to my place and the learning can begin. Learning? Man, I haven't done that in like five years. Weird places, this. This is my home. Boy, you know nothing about fishing, am I right? Yep. Well, let me show you that I can help you. Well, you're quite the fishing fan. Right you are. I love fishing so much I have everything to do with it, see? A fishing rod, there is lots of bowls galore and a tackle box. Fishing bats and fishing hats and good old fishing clocks. But Donald, Fun. I see a lot of stuff here. Can't you fit it all in just one song? Now you just watch and you will see. I have it all in Fish TV. Fish shampoo is good for you. Fish ice cream made special for me. Why is it necessary to have all this junk? It really creeps me out. Plus among us there's a funk. It might be a skunk Rickless sitting there for a long time. Never did clean it up because Fishing was my prime. I understand. I think I want to get out. Reckless, I must finish what we're talking about. Mind you, we're still on the topic of fish. I've got bobbleheads and comic books, frisbees and pickle hooks, and boards and lunch boxes, fishing ponds, but I've lost them. Fish flavored lollipops, sunglasses at the top. You've seen it all. I'm obsessed with it. I know you are. Please teach me how to fish. Well, it appears that Vicarious Loving has fallen victim to one of my acts of bullying. And that is evident on this check. Never be mad at you. No, oh, you'll be my friend to the end. Tickle, tickle. Hello? Yes. It's in. Good. It would be the best thing to use for those people tonight. Okay. Goodbye. Did you hear that, Check My new spatula's in. Let's go get it. Now your first lesson is learn how to cast a line. Do you know how to do that? No. The first thing you do, you put your thumb on, on the reel in the back there and you press the button in and you draw back with the rod and you throw it forward and release your thumb off the button. All right. At the same time. All right. Let me try. Okay. That's the start. But this is the way it is. First, you got to communicate with the fishing pole. Get to know it. Hi, I'm Fred the fishing pole. As you can see, I'm on a strict diet. I'm 
I am light colored. I'm 40. You see that? It's as if though the fishing pole has a mind of its own. The way I see it, you gotta pretend to be its friend. You gotta dance with it and share jokes. A smurf walked into the bar and the bartender said, hey, how come you're so blue? Then it's backstabbing time. Okay, now here, you try it. Okay. Turn it around, Rickless. You're holding it wrong. Oh. Oh, Hold okay, it on right. the other end. That's better. Oh. oh. You, you did it again. Why, oh, you lunkhead. Can't you do anything right? I can make pizza. That's got nothing to do with fishing. Maybe we can try something else. Good evening, my fellow acquaintances. We have a lot to cover in this meeting tonight. First off, who left my clothes in the dryer? They sat in there for two days, and thanks to whoever it was, they are now thoroughly crushed. Um, I did, sir. Really? I thank you, Rebo Man. But I know it was tense, dense. I'm just glad that you were mad enough to be able to take the blame since this war spag over here wasn't. Hey, this forgot, okay? Well, your forgetfulness caused my clothes to look lousy. Next thing, how'd your tennis game go yesterday? Well, I got disqualified because that stupid ref was being so stupid. He said that if I committed one more act of violence, then I'd get thrown out of the game. So I busted his nose with my tennis racket. Blended story. Why can't you go to one game without losing or getting kicked out? Hey, I would have whooped that puny point Dexter. He only won because I got disqualified. You lose and you get kicked out, you get kicked out and you lose. The door swings both ways with you, Tennis Dennis. Yeah, at least Rico Man is who he's owned up to his name. You know, long ago, he was in a repossession business. But that was, of course, until he got fired for money laundering. And ever since we started this group, he has successfully been running his own Rico business which has been funded by me, Bert Anthony Willis, ever since. Hey, I helped start this group too. What are you talking about? You joined us five years after we started this thing. And even then you had to pay us to become a member. Listen, I don't need to hear this bull honky. Then you can go sit in the corner. Fine, it's better than talking to you stupid heads. God. Um, sir, do you think that maybe we can talk about Rickolas Loving? Sure. Well, from what I've gathered, he's the apprentice of the legendary fisherman Donald Suzuki. Well, what my point is, is what if he gets so good at fishing that he might come after you and he, he maybe he could kill you? Well, we currently know that he is the schmucks of Rentis. So we must find a way to discourage him. And I think we know how to do it. Hey, I didn't say you could come out of that corner yet. Good old fishing lake. I remember when I was 12 years old, 1930, I caught the biggest thing in here. What was it? Size 30 boot, and it fit my dad pretty good, too.